What is going on everyone? Wanted to go over the hot topic right now that so many of you have been sending me messages about. Let me know where you're tuning in from city and state. If you live in New York state, I definitely want to hear from you. And if you are tuning in from outside this great nation, please let me know where you are tuning in from. Give yourself a shout out, country, region, province. Okay, so New York state has now officially passed a law that bans body armor. Now it prohibits the purchase of body armor, and we're gonna get into the definition of body armor because it's very important here. It prohibits the purchase of body armor by a civilian, and it prohibits the sale of body armor by any persons. Now, as you know, 221B Tactical, we sell body armor. We sell lots of different kinds of body armor, and those of you who don't know are gonna get a quick education. You can see some of the other videos on the channel, but a lot of people have been saying, well, wait, wait, how does this affect me? What? Okay, so right now, as it stands, if you, and there's, it doesn't say anything right now, so as it stands, it appears that if you already own body armor, you are okay. So as it reads right now, as what was passed. Now, prior to it getting passed, there was some language in there that talked about those who are already in possession of it. However, the bill that was actually passed, now uh, that language was removed. So what we have now is a law that is put into place in New York State that says the sale of body armor vests is prohibited. First offense is a misdemeanor. Second offense is, I believe, a class E felony. So, but let's talk about what they define as body armor. Now, some of you may already been have already been asking, well, how, what does this have to do with anything? This is innocent civilians who now do not have the ability to protect themselves, and you are not wrong. That means people who are everyday law-abiding citizens, like many people in New York who are scared because crime is through the roof, now are not going to be able to purchase said body armor for their protection while they ride the subway, while they go to work, while they go to school, while they maybe are a, a, a deli or bodega owner, they will not be able to purchase a body armor vest. People say, well, how does this help the situation? Well, this is all stemming from the shooting in Buffalo, in upstate New York, where the young man went into a supermarket and killed a bunch of people. He was wearing a body armor vest. And when he was shot by someone in the store, the security guard, uh, it had no effect on him because he was shot in the vest. So they said, of course, now, of course, we have to ban all body armor vests because a bad guy had body armor on for a bad purpose. Now, a lot of people don't know this. It was already against the law. It was already a felony to use body armor in the commission of a crime. That was already a law on the books. So it was sensible because body armor doesn't kill anyone, it doesn't hurt anyone, and people who do various activities have the right to protect themselves. If crime is through the roof in your city and people are getting shot right and left in your neighborhood because the police have been defunded by a billion dollars, you would think that it would be okay to go out and buy yourself a protective vest and go to work or school or whatever wearing this vest, but now it's not. It used to be fine, now it's not. Now, of course, it makes total sense that if you use body armor in the commission of a crime, sure, that should be added on. If you're committing a crime, it means you don't care about the law, right? So if you just have a law to say, listen, while you're breaking the law, if you also do this, you're breaking another law. Obviously, it's not a deterrent, but some people believe it is. So I don't know anyone who says, I'm going to commit the crime of mass murder. However, because wearing body armor during the commission of this crime 
is illegal, I'm not going to wear the body armor. I'm going to just stick with the shooting. So they believe that's what these people are saying. These mentally ill people, they believe that's what they're saying. Anyhow, a lot of people are emailing in, concerned, you know, obviously they're trying to get their hands on whatever they can. Uh, we have our ballistic clipboard. We have panels that go into backpacks. A lot of parents are saying, hey, I just bought this uh, arm, body armor panel to put in my child's backpack to send them to school. What, you know, what about that? So we're going to go over all that and all that information will be on the website, 221btactical.com, and it'll go through all the body armor. Now, the one thing that was a little bizarre was how they define body armor. Now, for those of you who don't know, there's multiple kinds of body armor, multiple levels of body armor, but for the most part, the divide is soft armor and hard armor. Soft armor, I'll leave it as, is good for handguns and bullets that come out of handguns. This is for the layperson. If you're a tactical ninja and you know all this stuff, don't worry about it. Now, soft armor for handguns. Hard armor is for rifles, AR-15 rounds and other rounds. Okay, so the ban and the law, the ban on armor, here is what the body armor, this is how they define it. For the purposes of this section, a quote, body vest, unquote, means a bullet resistant soft body armor providing as a minimum standard, the level of protection known as threat level one, which shall mean at least seven layers of bullet resistant material, providing protection from three shots of 158 grain lead ammunition fired from a 38 caliber handgun at a velocity of 800 feet per second. The unlawful wearing of a body vest is a class E felony. Now, for those of you who know anything about anything, you'll realize that it says soft body armor. Soft body armor. So, what they have done is they banned the purchase and sale of soft body armor. And they make no mention of hard armor plates. Hard armor plates are what you see the military guys wearing and the plate carriers that covers their chest. There's one on the back. Those are hard armor plates. Why do you see advanced tactical teams and SWAT teams and military things like you see the Navy SEALs and all that? Why do you see all these high level people wearing these plate carriers with these hard armor plates in them? Because they stop rifle rounds as well as handgun rounds but they're made to stop rifle rounds. And when you have these mentally ill people who are illegally, they're not, they're, they're completely bypassing the law, they're not concerned with the law, they're going to kill people, bypassing the law, getting guns, rifles, they're most likely wearing hard armor plates, most likely not wearing soft armor plates. I don't know many active shooters. I know there's been a handful that have had body armor type vests on but it's definitely not the norm. However, we now have a situation where you have the law in New York that is taking the ability of civilians protecting themselves with body armor while they go about their business in an, in an effort to hurt the criminals who are not obeying the law anyway. They're not obeying the law anyway. So. People are asking, can you still sell body armor? What are you gonna, you know, at 221B Tactical? So we have a lot of people who are based in New York City, have a lot of people who are scared. Mothers uh, coming in, uh, priests coming in, you know, rabbis coming in, store owners. So now the provision has, uh, the law has a provision for anyone who is in law enforcement or does any kind of profession that requires them to wear body armor. Those people, we can sell body armor, soft body armor too. Most of those people are buying hard armor, but they have soft body armor uh, that we can sell to them. And right, you know, and of course, regular civilians, if you want to protect yourself, you're screwed. However, if you want to buy a hard armor plate, that falls outside this law. Hard armor plates are thicker, and of course they're hard, they're not soft and flexible. However, there are some hard armor options that are now thinner that'll help against handgun rounds, and some rifle rounds. So, like our clipboard that we offer, our ballistic clipboard, and some other things that we offer. So, those are the questions people are asking, and that's what we're letting you know, that the rifle plates that will stop 
handgun bullets and rifle bullets apparently are still legal to sell and legal to purchase by civilians. So far, that's what we know. We don't know anything else other than what I just read to you. And what I just read to you is flexible, soft armor. It's essentially Kevlar. Uh, some people are using it as a material called Dyneema, but it's layers of thin material pressed together, and that gives it the soft, flexible nature, but also helps stop the bullet. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to get one of these panels, and now a lot of people are saying, well, does it have to be in the form of a vest, or is it any soft armor? Uh, that's kind of a gray area, so a lot of people have already said, a lot of mothers and fathers have written in saying, hey, uh, can I buy one of these panels to put in my kid's backpack? Uh, can I buy one of these panels to put in my briefcase that I take to work, my, my bag that I carry to work? Can I do that? It's soft armor. Is it, is it a body vest, as the law says? No, it's not a vest. It's just a panel of armor. However, it's a little bit of a gray area. We're not sure. Definitely want to consult with an attorney on that. However, hard armor plates, which we have, thin, available, seem to be okay. Leave it to the lawmakers to make a law that you would think that that's, the, that's what is going to be used by someone who's carrying an AR-15 type rifle to go in to commit one of these crimes. You know, like they, they're in Call of Duty wearing their plate carrier. So, we'll see what happens. Hope that answers some of the questions for you. And uh, hopefully, if you guys have any other questions, comment below. Our team is available 24-7 to answer questions about all kinds of body armor and let you know what you can get what you can't get uh, and we, we, we know that this is a, a big concern because of the crime in New York right now and we know a lot of you are scared a lot of you are concerned but if you're worried about the ban on body armor in New York we are the one maybe only body armor supplier right now in New York City and a lot of people have been coming in calling emailing so feel free to call get your questions answered, email in sales at 221BTactical.com. Uh, uh, and you could also make an appointment to come in and see our full line of body armor options that are available to you. Now, of course, if you are law enforcement or you work in a profession that requires body armor, you're good to go. However, otherwise, you may have to look at some hard armor options. However, we do have some hard armor options for civilians readily available. And we also have some armor options that are not a vest which are also available to you uh, if you're interested in that for your safety, the safety of your family and loved ones. So, hope that helps. 221BTactical.com, sales at 221BTactical.com. If you have any email questions, getting crazy out there. They're, they're now taking away your right, innocent people's right to protect themselves against bad guys. I, I, don't, I, I don't know how else to put it. I really don't know how else to put it, but be safe out there. It's getting crazy. It's getting real crazy. I wonder why so many people are moving out of New York. Weird. <laughs>